everybody, Elena here from PC World. I am finally back with the second installment of my Twitch streaming PC. I really hate that intro, because I feel like I'm talking like this. <laughs> I gotta do this over, sorry Adam. Hi everybody, Elena from PC World here. I am back finally with installment number two. So in case you didn't already know, we're doing, I'm doing a vlog series about uh, this particular build, which is gonna help me stream for the first time to Twitch. That'll be kind of interesting for me. I've never done it before. This particular video is just going to be an unboxing of all the stuff I got in, sort of, because some of it is actually still in use in our builds elsewhere. One of the things about working here at PC World is that we don't actually have a lot of equipment, so it's constantly being used. And so I've had to make a couple of substitutions, which does change the price of the build. And I'll put the notes about that in the description for the, the video. Let's get started, see what I've got. First up is actually an empty box. For now, just know that I am still using the 2700X and it is floating somewhere in our lab and I will appropriate it when it comes time to build. Next up is our motherboard. So this is the Gigabyte GAAB350M Gaming-3 board. That's quite a mouthful. Here we go, the glorious part of this all, which is the actual motherboard. I'll pull it out real quick so you all can see it. So here's the, here's the board. One of the reasons I chose this board is because it has four DIMM slots for RAM, which is important as you'll see in a moment because of a substitution I had to make. And that wasn't even intentional. I actually had just wanted to give myself room to expand. So it all worked out rather fortuitously. So up next is the RAM. So originally for the build, um, I chose G-Skill. This um, instead is Corsair Vengeance RAM. And it's a little bit faster, so it's uh, 3200 megahertz. Um, the reason I chose this was not necessarily for any particular you know, concern, it's just that of all the things we had in the office, this was available. So there's quite a big, a big price bump for not a lot of gain in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, I would just stick with the original. I'm just using this in this build because it's available to me and I have it and I don't wanna delay this series of videos any further. So story of the SSD is similar. So originally for um, my build, I had chosen Western Digital Black drive, the NVMe drive, and that's only like 250 gigs. Um, so it wasn't nearly as expensive as what I have in my hands right now, which is a Samsung 970 Pro M.2 drive, and it's a whopping one terabyte drive, because again, this is what's available right now in our lab, because the other the other drive is still being used in testing for a different uh, project right now. So I don't, rec I don't recommend that you s make the same swap if you're following along with the build yourself and want to build something similar. I think getting a 250 gigabyte drive is totally fine if you just want to um, use it as a boot drive, which was my original intention. Like I, I was just gonna stick in a regular hard disk drive for the games, but here we are. I've got plenty of room now on a one terabyte drive. This drive is $500 right now on Newegg. And I think the other one is like maybe a hundred something tops. So hundred, low 100s. So yeah, that's it's quite a jump. All right, so GPU, I'm really excited about. However, it's not the one that I had requested, but these, when I requested this originally, we were still in the middle of the GPU shortage, so I'm not gonna look uh, a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. Originally, I chose the For the Win version. I think I would still stick with that. This one is just the super clocked version. It's not just, so it's just a, it's just a lower factory overclock. Oh, man, I hate when I do that. If you don't, if you watch enough of these videos, you'll learn very quickly that I am, I'm too well trained by two Asian parents to always be very tidy and I can't help it. So I'm trying not to rip anything, but I'm failing miserably as you can see. Ah, there we go. Ooh, oh, you can't smell it, but it's got like new hardware part smell and it's glorious. I love it. I think that's much better than new car smell personally. That always makes me sick. I'll do the peel later when I'm actually building. 
Oh, you know what? What the heck? I'll just do it now. I've seen so many videos, especially like case videos, where they'll do the, the peel, and it just makes this sound that I personally don't find satisfying, but I know so many people love watching that peel. I guess it's like the equivalent of popping bubble wrap. Man, that's a pretty card. Look at these, look at these like details right here. Like I love this right here and right there. And there's like this little, let's see if I get this in the frame properly. Get this like a little, not even a grill. It's like this little dotted mesh pattern. It's a nice back plate. I will peel this though. Because knowing me, I might forget to do it later. Can you hear that? There we go. So I'm having a little difficulty grabbing onto that film, but there you go. It's all pulled off. Man, that's pretty. That's, I would still go for performance, and I'm pretty sure the For the Win card is a good looking card too, but I can't say I'm unhappy with the aesthetics of this. I have like a sticker. You know, I've never actually put any stickers on my parts, or sorry, my cases before. You know, like some of my friends when they build, they actually do put like the Intel or the AMD sticker on the front and all of that, but I actually wonder how many people do it. I'm gonna skip to the power supply first before the case. I got a modular power supply, if I remember right, because I don't like a lot of extra cables to have to shove in somewhere into my case and have to tie off neatly. These are pretty flexible, which I like. Sometimes you get these cables and they're really stiff, but these have a nice like pliability to them. So I think I'm really gonna like building with this. We'll find out. That's your standard modular power supply. Oh, cool. I'm not sure if this is showing up in the frame. I'll see if I can help close. I can bring it. But uh, there's a texture on the fan blades and it's the EVGA logo. You know, I was just thinking about this other day. I don't mind branding on parts. I mean, obviously, if you're going to produce the part, like, why not let people know that, you know, you produced it? But I like for it to be tasteful. I think this is very tasteful. Look at me. Just trying to shove parts in. Uh, I'll fix that later. Okay, so I think what we're going to do next is I'm going to change the camera angle so that you can actually see the case as I unbox that. So stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Final part of this unboxing video, which is actually one of my favorite parts. This is the NZXT S340, super popular case. And the reason I was so excited for this is that I was able to get a white case with a purple strip. So that means that it's super perfect thematically for a Twitch streaming PC. Also guest starring in this video is Adam Patrick Murray's knife. So thank you, Adam, for the loan. I feel like every member of the Full Nerd crew, except for me, carries a knife. And I'm not really sure I want to start carrying one because unfortunately, unlike men, women's clothing does not have any real pockets in it. It's the worst thing ever. A lot of times when I'm hanging out with female friends, if we happen to mention anything about clothing, the first thing out of our mouth is, does it have pockets? I love that dress, does it have pockets? I love those pants, does it have pockets? I love that shirt, is that pocket able to carry anything? We really want pockets. I don't know why designers don't give us pockets. It sucks. All right, this is a very purple and white box, which I enjoy. And pull off the box. As some of you might know, I do some hobbies that involve like sports and dance and stuff. Um, I am the most least coordinated person in the world who does those things, I swear, because I'm constantly dropping things, I'm constantly tripping, constantly flipping things over when they shouldn't go, trip, like falling on my face. It's the worst. All right, here's the case. Ooh, all right, I'm excited. I think the only thing that would make this case even cooler would be to have a tempered glass window instead of acrylic, but I guess that would change the pricing. I swear the purple is almost, um, this might be a little more blue than the Twitch purple, but it's very close. All right, guys, should I peel now or peel later? I think, I think I'll peel later because I have a bad habit of scratching things. So associated with all that clumsiness I talked about earlier, uh, that extends to accidentally damaging things when I least mean to. So that concludes it, I think. Yeah, all the parts are done. We know what we're working with. 
Again, I made some part substitutions that I don't necessarily recommend. I just did that because it's what I have available. And this bill is not so much about raw performance. I may do a couple of benchmarks when I'm done with the build, but this is more about just to see what it's like to get the system up and running and then actually streaming to Twitch. So I'm not as concerned about the part swap for that. And, this, and also, I wouldn't necessarily even recommend some of the upgrades just because they're a little ludicrous. I mean, in a good way, but they're a little ludicrous. So check back, hopefully in a week or so, for the next build, or sorry, the next video in the series, which will be the actual build, and we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you all soon. Yeah. I can't even do a thumbs up. This is terrible.